What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a depth first search question. So what, from now on we're just going to do depth first search questions. Mainly because it's better, as, as I said in the last video, it's actually better if you start doing questions that you don't really understand. So then when you get used to doing these questions, you'll actually improve instead of just mindlessly doing a bunch of easies. So this is a depth first search question called employee importance. Um, essentially, as you, it is another easy, but essentially, as you're, it is a depth for a search question. So you're given a data structure of the employee information, which is the unique ID and his importance value, and his uh, direct subordinates ID. So if employee one is the leader of employee two, and employee two is the leader of employee three, they have importance value 15, 10, and 5. Uh, then the employee one has a data structure that is 1, 15, and then 2, because 2 is the direct subordinate ID so that's like the one that's under him and employee 2 has 2 10 and 3 because uh, 3 is the subordinate of 2 yeah because 2 is the leader of 3 so that's why for employee 2 3 is going to be in the sub subordinate area uh, employee 3 has relation of 3 5 and empty yeah because 3 is not a leader of anything so that's why it's empty okay so now we have that out of the way the the relationship is not direct. So note that employee three is also a subordinate of employee one. The relationship is not direct. Okay, so essentially is a employee three is a really a subordinate of employee one, but it's not going to be listed as well. Okay, it's not uh, it's not like a direct relation. Okay, so now that the employee information is a company employee ID, you need to return the importance total importance value of this employee and all of its subordinates. So you're given the employee information of the company. Now given the employee information of the company and the employee ID, you need to return the total importance the total importance value of this employee and all its subordinates. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have one five two three. So two three is the subordinates of one. Uh, five is the importance value. Okay. Um, two three empty. Okay. Two okay yeah so there's no subordinate of two. It has three importance value. Three three uh, this is empty. Three, three is the three is the uh, importance value, and then you have one. Okay, so one that one means is that we're trying to find the total importance value of one, and all of its employees and all of its subordinates. So here in this case, it would be five plus three plus three because five uh, one's importance is five. And then you have to add up the the importance value of its subordinates, which is two and three. So in two, what is uh, its importance value is three. And then uh, two has nothing there, so we're not going to do anything. And then remember, three is another subordinate of one. So three, we have to add that, add that uh, sum, the importance value of three, also into the total sum and to total importance value. So we're going to do five plus three plus three and that's going to get you 11 okay so what I'm gonna do is I have to go through so here I'm gonna list this out I haven't done this question at all before though so I'm gonna go through okay first first I have to go through the employees and get the ID so I have to find the right ID right so like I have to find one so once I find that, so once I find that, once I, so once found the right ID, we are going to go through each subordinate, uh, each of its subordinates, and, whoops, and add up all the importance value of each subordinate okay okay so okay so first we have to go through the employees and then get the ID once we find the right ID we're going to go through each of its subordinates and add up all its importance to each subordinate okay so okay so it's a unique ID of each node importance okay so I'm gonna go through every employee so employees um, 
for in the i equals zero i is less than employees dot size i plus plus um so this is going to be current employee that i'm searching it's going to equal employees at i so i so now i'm going to we have to get the right id so if current employees ID is equal to ID so if it's equal then we have to go through each of its subordinates and then so get the importance value of each subordinate and add up the importance of each subordinate so I have to go through uh, Let's see. Here, I'm gonna do call this. Create a sum called sum total. Total importance. Import zero. I'm gonna do sum total import plus equals to sum total import. We're going to add current employee its importance value so okay um do, 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 do. okay so we have to check if we also have to check if the current employee is not null then do this right because if if he is null then you can't get the id so now you call the null and uh so i'm gonna put this here okay so what we're doing here is we are going through each employee. This loop is going to go through each employee. I'm going to have a sum called total import, which is the total importance. I'm going to get the current employee. If it's not null, so that means it's not empty. We're going to get the ID. We have to check if the ID is the right ID. If it is, we're going to add sum total of the importance, the current importance. Then what we have to do is we have to go through each subordinate here it's like two or three and then add up theirs as well so i'm going to check check if current employee um yeah we have to check if employee is not its subordinates is not equal to null so it's not empty Actually, there's a not empty. There's an is empty. I think that's way better to use. Yeah. Okay, so once we get that, we have to go through every single value in coordinates. So current employee subordinates dot size. talking to me okay so then all right okay so then okay so once we go through the size oh we don't even have to check this actually because if it's empty then it would we okay so that was a pointless check because if the size if it's empty the size would be zero all right okay so we're gonna go through every other that that and we are going to get, we're going to add up some total. And we're going to recursively call this method, passing in. So they have an employee's um, subordinates. What is, what is the, oh, okay. So, so I have to do, The ID of the directed subordinate. So this is two three. So then I have to pass in employees at two, and then employees at three. So I have to do employees at x, and then the ID would be 
employees at X. Um, oh no, it would just be ID because we're passing in the ID again. Okay, so I think this would work. Okay, so but let's backtrack here again. Okay. And then I'm going to return sum total. Okay. So we're going to go through every single employee in our list. We get the current employee. If the current employee is not null, what we're going to do is we're going to check if it has the same ID as the ID we're searching for. If it does, we're going to sum up the importance of the current employee from the current employee to the to the total importance. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through to each of its subordinates of the current employee and then get the total import get the importance of each em employee. So each like 2 2 3 3 and then after that we return some total import. All right. So let's see. I have a feeling this may or may not work, but we have to try. Okay, we have a compile error. No matching calls, we get importance. Um, but this is an importance. Employee at. Hmm. Hmm. Subordinates. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to employee at zero. Okay. Recursively get the importance subordinate. Hmm. This is a good question. We pass in employees again. Okay, I got a stack overflow. Let's see. Okay, so I can't do this. I need to pass in an employee and then get the importance of that. So I want to keep going to each employee and then get its importance. So I need to do another method here. So I'm going to do get importance helper uh, I'm gonna do an employee um let's see once you have an employee you need to have the subordinates okay so current employee and ID that we're finding this is gonna check if current employee if it's here I'm gonna make this a pointer if it's uh, if it's subordinates, if its ID is equal to ID we're finding, then we're going to go through each of its subordinates. So we're going to do x equals zero, x is less than current subordinates dot size. Then we're going to pass in oh, wait, okay so I'm gonna pass in employees into the here actually um, so then I could pass in employees at X into get importance helper so Um, employees at X and then the ID. Let's see. Let's see if this works. So what I'm doing is I'm going to this helper is supposed to keep going down based on the employee current employee to check if it's the ID of the right employee and it's going to go to its subordinates. Right? I can't recursively call this unless I have the actual 
total employees that was given because I can't get this like I I need to get the second so like once I go through subordinates two and three right I have to get the employee at two so I need the, the total I need the whole employee list in order to get two and three you get it like the employees of, of two and three so here and here my bad employees of two here and employees of three that's the reason I need this is because I need to get to uh, that's the reason why I need this employees list so I could get the employees at two and the employees at three so then I could get this and that all right so each of these individual lists okay so that's why I passed this in here and that's why I passed this in here okay um, so we're gonna get the total list employees um, yeah, I need a sum also. Int sum. So then I'm going to do this sum total. And I'm going to do sum total plus equal to uh, current employee at its importance. Then after this, I'm going to return sum total. So essentially, this is going to do exactly what our, our function here couldn't do. Because I couldn't get the current employee, current thing. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm going to pass in current employee. So I'm gonna call this get importance helper, passing in the current employee and the current ID here. What is current employee? This is going to be current employee. Uh, we still need the same ID that we're finding. Uh, employees is going to be the same employees. We're going to do some total import plus equal to this, and then we're going to return this. Okay, this may or may not work. I don't know. It's runtime error. Okay, so we still have a stack overflow. Let's see what's what is the problem here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so at this point, you should find the go through its subordinates, get its ID plus equals is importance. Return it. It's going to come back here. Employee size is going to Okay, so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out current employee's name or ID. Yeah, the current ID. Let's see what's what's going on. I'll just run it for now. Let's see. Okay, so it has one, two. I'll copy this and put it as a test case. Let's see what is causing this overflow. Okay, let's see. Hold up. Um, let me see something. What is causing this? Why can't I go down? It's not letting me go through zone down. Um, STD out is one. That's strange. Okay, one. Okay, let's see what, what we're doing here. So, I have the size one, two, three, right? I have a size of three. I'm going through every single, every single employee. 
Get the current employee. Okay, so currently my current employee is one. I'm for, current employee is not null, so I'm going to get importance helper of employees and current employee. Passing the ID, so I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to check. Um, we check the right ID. So, is one equal to one? Yes, it is. I'm gonna sum up the total, which is gonna be five. And then we'll go through every subordinate size and sum up that one. So I'm going to pass in employees. There's a list again. Employees at X, which is gonna be two, and then three, and the ID of two and three. So it's going to come back up here and it's going to say is 2 equal to 1. Oh, hmm. It's going to check if is 2 equal to 1. No, it's not. Then that's going to return 0. Okay, let, let's keep going and see what happens. Okay, it returns 0. It's going to come back down here. Okay, let's see, let's see what we're printing out. Let's print out some total. Let's see what happens. This is called the debugging skills, guys. Okay, so it prints out one, five, 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 okay. Goes back up here. Hold up, let's see, let's print out this. Employees at X. I'm gonna print out its ID. Oh, wait, no, no. Current subordinates should be. No, hold up. The subordinates should be two, two and three. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um. Mm -hmm. Two and three. They have to go through each subordinates, which is two and three. So that's what I'm doing here. Two's ID should be Oh I know what I did wrong, okay? So here is gonna go through the subordinate size, right? Subordinate at X so it's gonna go, so here I went through this list, right? The subordinates, two and three. I didn't pass in the right value for each subordinate. So two and three, it's gonna do, it'll pass in get helper employees at zero. Cause it goes through the size of the list two and it's gonna go zero one because it's a list of the size two. And then over here, it's gonna pass in the value zero in here, right? And then in, over here, once it gets, what's the value of zero in this list? That's for, this is at the zeroth index, that's this. That's the first, that's the first employee. So that's why it's gonna to go to an infinite stack overflow. Okay, so what I should be doing is actually doing current subordinates. At X, that's what I should be doing. So when it's gonna print out, it should print out two and three. Two, 
Okay, so there's a stack overflow because of that issue there, but it's, it prints out two, okay. So now I have two and three. I want to pass in the value of two and then the value of three to add up those values. Okay, so I'm gonna pass in um, hmm two I need to get the current subordinates so I need to pass in the ID of here current subordinates at X employees at X what is that That's not what I'm trying to get. Okay, so I don't need employees. Do I need current? So what I need to pass in is the current subordinates and their ID. So that, that's going to pass in two and three into my function. Then I have to get the employees at X, which is not employees at X. I need to get each current. Um, hmm. Hmm. Do I need a helper function actually? Let's see. Employees at X. Hmm. We're going to go through each employees. So one, two, three. Check if two and three. Okay, this is gonna be a very, very, this is gonna take a while actually. Let's see, how, how long is this gonna take? Hmm. Current subordinates at X. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick right now. Employees, employees at X, current employees at subordinates. Employees, employees. Hold up. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, whew. I think this should work. No, let's see. Employees at X is going to be zero one, and that's not. It's going to stop there. This is supposed to go through the. The this is supposed to get each subordinate. Once I get each subordinate two and three, I need to go to this the each employees, the employees at two and then the employee at three. So I have to find the the right the right uh the right employee to return. So I need to get this employee. So in order to do that, I need a another for loop. I have to do uh, 
that's called y equals zero, y is less than employees. This is going to find the the right employee. I feel like there's a much better way to do this, but so this is going to find the right employee. So if employees at y at id is equal to current subordinate at x. So this is going to get the the current ID of two and three, and then we're going to loop back to the whole list, and then we're going to get the if it's the right one. So if, if this is the right ID, I'm going to have a employee subordinate employee. I'm going to set it to null and then I'm going to do subordinate employee is going to equal to employees at y. I'm going to break. Once I get that employee, I'm going to pass it into here. So then I'm going to have sub employee is going to be this one. Okay. And then that should get so that I'm going to pass. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the importance of sub employee, which is going to be this two. And I pass it back to the front, and it's going to do that again for its children. Yada yada yada. Um, I think this should work now. Let's see. Yep, it works. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll explain my solution and then we'll look at the answer. So what I did first is that I had a for loop to go through each employee, right? Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. So I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna get rid of the console logs, uh, the C out statements. Whoops. Okay, so first I did was I have an I went through every single employee list in our employees list, which is each individual ones of these. So this employee, this employee, and this employee, right? That's what I did. I get each employee, so this current employee. This is gonna so we're gonna start at zero and then one, two. So we're gonna get this one, this one, and this one. I would check if it's empty, right? If it's if it's null, that means it's empty. So if it's not null, that means it's not empty. And I'm going to get the importance helper of this employee, which is one, five, two, three, right? So I pass in those values into this function called get importance helper that takes in the employees, the current employee, and the ID. And if the current employee, so let's say this is one, current employee's ID. One is matches the ID that I'm searching. So ID I'm searching is one, right? The ID we're searching is one. Then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sum up the importance, which is five. So I take five, five is the importance, I'm gonna add it, add it up with some total. Then I'm gonna go through every subordinate, which is two, three, right? So this this loop for loop goes through every subordinate size, which is two, three. I'm gonna get each subordinate. So what I have to do is I have to get the employee at two. So what I did was I'm gonna loop through again through the employee size, which is one, two, and three, right? If it has the matching value of two as its ID, I break. So if the ID matches with the subordinate's ID right here, the whatever current employee's ID matches the subordinate ID, I break. And I set my, I get my actual subordinate employee, which is, this would be two. And then I recursively call on that. So I'm going to recursively call on two. And then it's going to sum up the total of three empty. Then it's going to come back up here. And then it's going to recursively sum up three, which is three for three's employee. And then, yeah, that's what it does. And then that's how you get 
so I got AC, but it's not as fast. So let's see at the actual solution. Okay, wow, this is much easier. Okay, so they use a hash set, uh, a map. Genius. Oh, okay, that's actually genius. Okay, this is actually really smart. Okay, if you use a map, what they're going to do is they're going to use it to query the employees quickly. So they're going to map. So we want to find the total importance of each employee. It will be the importance of that plus the total importance of each of the employee subordinates. This is a straightforward that first approach. Okay, so they go through. Okay, so they create a new map. And for each employee, they're going to put the ID. They're going to map the ID with the current employee. And then they're going to call depth first search on the, the ID we're searching. Okay. The ID we're searching, they're going to get the employee at the specific ID. They're going to get its importance. And they're going to go through every of its subordinates. And then add the ID. Oh, okay. It's going to add the depth first search. They're going to call that first search on the, that ID. Okay, so that's actually much better than our solution. So what our solution did was that every time we... <clears throat> what we did was we had to go through every single employee every time to search for the right sub-employee here. So that's what we had to do here. Once we found it, we have to break, and then we had to pass that in. Here they don't have to do that because if you use a hash map or a map or whatever it is, you don't have to keep on searching to find the employee of the sub-employee, the ID of a sub-employee. So in, in this case, two, three, they don't have to search for the, the employee that has the ID two for like this one too, and then add its importance. They could just get it from a map. So if they map every single ID to its specific uh, employee, so they don't, they don't have to do this searching. So that's actually way smarter because if they don't have to search through it, then it's much easier and it doesn't take that much time. So we're going to actually change our solution to match theirs. Okay, so let's see what we have to do. First of all, we're going to create a global variable as a map. And it's going to map an employee to its we're not going to map an employee we have to map the pointer of an employee because we're using C++ um, no we're going to map the specific integer ID with its employee and this is going to be the total map okay so this is going to map the ID to its employee okay so what we're going to do is in our function here okay let's not look at the solution right now okay because we we in order to learn you cannot copy the solution okay okay so what we're gonna do we don't need this for now and we don't need this and um, let's get rid of our helper for now okay We're going to call depth first search. Okay, that's going to be our helper. First, we're going to map every single total map, every single ID. So, employees at, let's see, what is the. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, first, first, I got to get each employee. So, current employee. Is going to equal to employees at i. Okay. We're going to map each employee its ID to its specific employee. So this employee. Okay. Once this is done, we're going to call that first search, passing in the
return dev first search, passing in the ID we're finding. Okay. Okay. So in dev first search, we're going to have this ID, and this is going to return the total sum. What we're going to do? Okay. So. Once we map the correct ID, we have to get each subordinate for the, the subordinate ID. So, wait, well, let's see what they did. Yeah, okay, so you have to get each you have to get the employee that has the ID. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Too much looking there. Okay. Um. So we have to get the employee that has the ID. So this is the ID. <clears throat> So this is the employee that has the ID. Then we're going to add up its importance. So in this case, total import. We're gonna add up the importance. Um, importance, yeah. Once you add up the importance, you have to go through each in the, go through, Let's use a for each loop, okay? For every uh, integer s, so for every subordinate inside current subordinates, we have to add the depth first search of its ID. So the ID of S, yeah, okay. Then we return total importance. Let's run that code. And it gets accepted. Okay, so that's how you would do this question for depth first search for employee importance. I hope you guys enjoyed. My tutorial, I didn't do this question, I was just doing it with you guys, so this video would have been, is very long. But I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this question with you guys. It's actually much better if, if I do a problem that I have never seen before instead of just like explaining the solution. So I'll explain it one more time. We're going to go through every single employee, and we're going to map its ID in our hash map to the current employee that it has. So here it's going to be one one is gonna have the ID, The it goes through this uh, one, two, and three. So each ID, one is gonna have this this employee, right, this whole employee. Two, two's ID is gonna have this employee, and three's ID is gonna have this employee, right? And once you map that, we're gonna call depth first search on the ID we're searching, which is one. So once we have the ID of one, so we pass in one in here that we're trying to search for. We're going to get the current ID, uh, the current employee from the ID one. So this would be this one, this employee. We're going to add up its importance, which is five. And then for each subordinate ID, two and three, we're going to recursively call that first search again. So it's going to go to the employee that has ID two, which is this employee. And then it's going to add up those, the total importance of this one, which is three. And then it's going to return that because uh, there's no subordinates here. So it's going to plus three. And then, so it's going to do five plus three. And then we're going to get the next, next subordinate, which is three. And then we pass this in here. We get the, the employee of three. And then you add that and you can add, then you have five three plus three plus three which is 11 and then you return that and that's what you get. 
So, that's how you do this problem. Rate, comp, subscribe. This is a very long tutorial.